Hello. In part 3, I'm going to finish the jewelry holder. I will install all of the brass hooks, some brass chicken wire, as well as a mirror and cork board. I'm cutting some 1 quarter inch by 1 eighth inch brass bars to pinch the chicken wire with. I'm using a pair of end snips to trim the chicken wire flush with the brass bars. Now I'm installing the chicken wire into place. I'm countersinking the hole for the nut. I want the back side of this board to be able to sit flush up against the wall. Now to start installing the mini hooks. It was easier to remove the dividing strips for installing the hooks. I removed them one piece at a time. I made a template straight edge, which made it easier to mark the center lines of the hooks. I then measured out from the center, marking a hook every 20 millimeters. Here I am setting up the drill press depth to not drill all the way through. I'm just starting each hook a couple of turns. I found that a 17mm star socket fit the cup of the hooks, which allowed me to use a ratchet to speed up the process. This also saved me from getting a callus on my fingers.
It was difficult to judge the position of the hooks when tightening, so after I was done with the ratchet, I straightened them out by hand. After all of the hooks are installed in the dividing strip, I reinstall it before moving on to the next strip. I'm using hot glue to attach the mirror. I bought the mirror when designing the project, so I designed the dividing strips around the mirror instead of having to cut any glass. I'm using my table saw to trim a piece of one quarter inch cork board. Again, I'm using hot glue to attach the cork board. I'm hanging the holder with a 16 inch aluminum French cleat bracket. That's it for part three. I hope you enjoyed the project. There are a few things that I would have done different on the project. I originally had planned to install the hooks in place, but I found it awkward and impossible to drill the pilot holes for the hooks, so I had to remove the dividing strips one at a time to install the hooks. This was an issue because I had already sprayed the enamel coating, um, but it ended up not being that big of a deal. The other thing that I would have done different is the dividing strips are tall enough that they really should have been joined at the miters and butt ends. So next time I think I would find a way to do that as well. Thank you for watching.